My name is Tin Wong. I'm the Associate Medical Director at Savon Community Clinic Beverly Site and the Residency Training Supervisor. There are a lot of clinics around where I live that I could very well work for, but I chose to drive every day to come to Suvan in traffic. Um, sometimes it takes me two and a half hours to, to come here. I love my job. I love going to yeah. work. I yeah. love working with the residents and able to share ideas, to exchange ideas. There are lots of challenges that comes with a population that we serve. A lot of them cannot afford food, cannot afford medications, cannot afford the time to come and see the doctor, they can't speak English. And all the patients that I interact with, I, I do feel a sense that, that I know them, a sense that I can understand their concerns and their problems and their issues. Growing up, you know, and being a refugee, I definitely can relate to all my patients that comes in. After the communists came in, took um, over Vietnam, we left in the middle of the night. We didn't know what was going on. My parents didn't tell us anything. And when we asked, they said, oh, we're just going for a trip, not to worry. We were in the boat for four days and three nights before we, we reached Thailand. Uh, we were there a total of a year before we came to the United States. When we moved to California, I did sewing in a sweatshop. My mother worked in a sweatshop as well, so she had all three girls uh, worked in sweatshop with her to help out in paying the, the rent. That's how we survived. And in the summer, when we're not in school, we pick strawberries, corn, apples. And you just have to do what you have to do to survive. You know, as, as a child, you never know what fear was. You, all you know was as long as you were safe with your parents. Yeah, I, I've told this story so many times when people ask how I come to the United States, but it, it never brought tears to my eyes. And perhaps I, I feel the sense of, of being at Saban and relating to the all the patients that come to our clinic, and perhaps that's what it brought tears to my eyes. Our patients are very grateful for the clinic. We give them all that we can offer. We give them quality care. I listen to them. I try to empower them, and I try to be a role model for them. And I try to tell them, I, I can relate to your struggles. You know, patient would say, well, how can I be happy when I'm homeless? And you try to empower them and telling them that, you know, being positive will, will change your health you. versus if you're negative, you only have two choices. You can be positive or negative. The result's going to be dramatically different to your health. So what's very unique about our yeah. clinic is that we have doctors who not only wanted to commit their life to helping the underserved, they're very intelligent, they do have a choice to work elsewhere, and they're very passionate in what they wanted to do and to help the patients. You know, all the struggles that I have overcame, I feel that if I can do it, I want to help someone else to do it as well. We have amazing physicians here, and I'm just one of the stories here at Saban Community Clinic.